right, so here he is, the inimitable former UFC champion, Yuri Prohaska. And I say former, but never lost the belt in the octagon. 13 consecutive wins when injury intervened. Yuri Prohaska is an absolute savage. This is a guy that made his way into the UFC in a very short period of time, became the champion. He has tremendous power. He has an uncanny ability to find the shot that ends his opponent's night. He's scary. He is a true mixed martial artist, or martial artist, as I say, with the mind of a champion, and it's very exciting to see Yuri Prohaska back in the octagon. And I'm glad you bring up the championship mindset, because anyone who may be doubted as to whether or not he had the ticker, you got your answers in Singapore at UFC 275. Let's see how it goes for Prohaska here tonight. ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Folks, does not get a whole lot bigger nor better than this. UFC light heavyweight championship fight is upon us, and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes this walk for his latest title defense tonight. He is walking once again as the light heavyweight champion of the world. The UFC's glamour division, long has this been viewed as a division with the most talented guys because you're not quite heavyweight, you're just right underneath it. These guys, this guy is a champion in the highest order. He has defended this belt time and time again, and he intends to extend that streak tonight. Yeah, it wasn't all that long ago that this belt was vacant. It was changing hands seemingly every other title fight. Now this man is holding it down and looking to dispose of another challenger properly tonight. John Jones, one of the greatest of all time, once again ready to engage in a big spot here tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight championship fight. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's it first? Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Yuri Yanisa Prasaka. And now he's the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. He is the reigning, defending UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so Yuri Prohaska has won 13 consecutive fights. The last 11 have been by finish. And you know the UFC prides itself on putting the fights together that the fans want to see. Fans ask for John Jones and Prohaska, and they get it here tonight. You know, John, it was one of those dream matchups. It was a fantasy matchup. And you finally get it. You get the greatest light heavyweight of all time against a guy that has not had to finish a fight every single time against a guy that has not seen the final belt. He finishes everyone. Yuri Prohaska has dynamite in his hands, and he is just a fighter. And all those skills will be needed tonight when he fights John Jones, a guy that has seen everything inside the octagon. Frantic pace early on to this one. Checks the leg kick. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight 
with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones's calling card. Oh, Jones gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him. Beautiful job by the champion. Nice uppercut. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Gets the elbow up into the target. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Big shot to the head. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Strike blocked by Pro Hoska. Oh, nice takedown defense. He lands a big knee to the body. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh. Round two next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous spot? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. He's hurting it bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh! Nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winkle, John told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nicely done. And now he's got the back. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Jones is back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Nice deep. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Spinning backfist. Seconds to go. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pitch. 
beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Good shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity. Potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. Well, let's get to the next round. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Really using his reach advantage. Smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. Takedown defense holds up. Jones's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Prohaska gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, nice. We march on three minutes to go. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Circling to his right. Beautiful straight punch there by Jones. Prohaska's eye is closing up. Oh! Try to establish that jab. Kick to the body for the champion. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Nice leg kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. just as he was stunned by a huge shot right before the end of the round. So, saved by the bell. Back to the stool, 60 seconds with which to recover. We'll see if his corner can keep his head in the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. 
right, so here we go. You can feel the tension. Fourth round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next 10 minutes, someone's going to get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Right there, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight. But their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late in both asking the question, how do I get this done? Well, he is really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. You've gotta move, you gotta change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Just misses with the left hook. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on B Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Now he's back up. Submission. Jones's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. He passes to half guard. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Working from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Johnny Bone. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now, DC, a lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Deuce trying to finish the fight. Uh. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, replay truck has been kept busy tonight as we get you some clips from that previous round. And maybe we can even isolate the strike that opened his cheek up. I mean, a cut on your cheek. Wow. It's in a better spot. It is still so hard to deal with. Every time that gets hit, it hurts so bad. He's going to have to move his head here. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round, fourth time. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Pro Hoska. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, man, it's exactly the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Jones is really blue. Oh! That'll do oh. it! Gary Prohaska! Oh, my goodness. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout.
count. And new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Yuri Denisa Koshelka. Everything about this guy is watchable, right? Even after the fact, a big knockout for Yuri Prohaska here tonight, and this dude's just getting started, champ. He's so fun. I mean, everything about Yuri kind of draws you in from his personality to his fighting style. And wins like that will only make people more interested in watching Yuri Prohaska compete.